What is up guys, Awesome Nerd Show here and today we're unboxing my favorite box that we get, the WWE Slam Crate, which of course hard to see with the lighting and the weird design. Um, so we have uh, the crate for this uh, month and I have no clue what the theme is at all. Their themes are kind of weird and stuff. I know um, an idea of some of the, oh, so it's stables, so that explains what it is because it says right on the top there. Um, so let's, hopefully we'll get some cool stuff. So go ahead and start with the shirt. And so it looks like it's a Sasha Banks shirt. Um, which is kind of weird. Yeah, so it's got the chain with the legit boss, um, like necklace thing there that she has and wears. And then it's got her um, glasses there on the back and stuff like that. So it's not actually too bad. Since it's a black shirt and it just says legit boss, it doesn't say anything about Sasha Banks or anything. So it's e very easy for like someone like me to wear this shirt then um, and not have to worry about. Because sometimes a lot of the women's shirts are really weird and stuff. Um, but this one's actually, I think, um, simple enough and everything that it wouldn't really matter. Um, but it's um, still kind of cool and stuff like that. So that's awesome. I'll probably wear it at some point. So Next up we have a Loot Crate um, something. Oh, is it a foam finger? Because it's either, it's either a towel or a foam finger. I don't know exactly which one. Oh, it is a foam finger. Oh, it's a unicorn. Okay, so it's we have a New Day foam finger. If I can figure out how to get it out of the package here. So it's a very weird foam finger, but it says the New Day on it, and then of course the pointer finger has been replaced by a unicorn horn, um, of course, for their whole unicorn stuff like that. So that's kind of funny and weird, you can be like, I'm a unicorn, <laughs> or a narwhal, or narwhal, or whatever, so, yeah. so that's kind of cool that they were able to put something like this in. I don't think I've ever seen this so like that they actually sell these or anything, um, but that's kind of weird and cool and all sorts of stuff. I don't, I don't know how to feel about this, I think it's kind of funny though. Um, so that's different and new, uh, but we'll go ahead and move on to that. Next up we have some socks like they've been giving us, and we have what looks like some white or bright, just bright white socks. So, um, so of course it says follow the buzzard stuff there at the bottom, WWE Slam Crate, and it says the Wyatt family, so that's part of the whole stable thing. Um, don't know how I feel about wearing these. These may be for you, bro, if you want them. Bray White's cool if I just don't know about these socks how I feel about them. But I have noticed they like sell these kind of socks on their website and stuff now with whatever this company it says, Odd Socks. Oops, I'm holding it backwards. Um, Odd Socks is the brand. Um, so they sell a couple of these. I don't know. I doubt they sell this one though. But I know they sell them with design stuff. So you can get ones like these if you want them and stuff like that off the WWE shop. But that's kind of funny and cool. Um, again, don't know how I feel about them, but still pretty interesting. Um, next up we have a, ooh, another, so we have another book like we um, got in the last one. But this one is uh, the Slam Crate Stables. And so, of course, you go through and it has all sorts of... So, this has, like, tag teams and stuff. So, it's like, New Day had DIY. Of course, the Four Horsemen. Um, one of the most popular stables is the Shield, Evolution, the Wyatts. Um, let's see. The Four Horsewomen. Of course, NWO, which was awesome. Should, D should have, Generation X. Say, yeah, should have DX in here. Uh, or, instead, it has the Click. Which has, you know, part of the DX and stuff like that. Um, so that's a cool book. I really like these whole book things and stuff like that. Um, oh. And then, yeah, they're on the last page. I guess it does have a D-Generation X from the late 2000s one. But I like these books. Just, um, they're, they remind me a lot of, like, the little kid books that you can buy in, like, stores and stuff like that. Um, but they, like, it's like a part of the encyclopedia that they pull out and put into a small book form and throw in the... So I like this because you get information on characters or whatever sort of thing that goes with this. Um, next up, we'll go with our pin before we get to the last thing, and this one's kind of cool. It is the WCW World Heavyweight Championship with the NWO spray painted on the front. So, of course, this was the famous um, belt that Hulk Hogan carried through the late, uh, very end of the 90s, stuff like that when he had the title and then was part of the NWO who they spray painted on stuff like that. And of course he always played it as like an air guitar and stuff like that as Hollywood Hogan. So that's another awesome belt. I love these belts so much. Um, I love taking them and putting them on my wall at work and stuff like that. And so we got another awesome one to add to it. And so that's awesome. And then the last thing out of the box is our um, character again. I forget what they call them. Um, but it's our Slam Crate collectible figure. And this time it is of Triple H. So of course this goes with their um, Attitude Era line that they're doing. Um, so we got Stone Cold in the last box and this time we have Triple H. And even though this isn't from the Attitude Era though, that's my one um, problem with it. But obviously Triple H was from the Attitude Era. So let's see if I can get this out of here. Okay, so we have our Triple H here. So there he is standing up doing his whole pose thing. 
and stuff that he usually always does with his hands up in the air and stuff. And then of course we have our crate once it, or crate our ring. That's what I meant to say. Once again, that we can obviously connect with the stone cold one that we got last time. So we can obviously stick him on here. And again, I wish they had like pegs them on their feet that you could like stand them on to like help hold them onto it and stuff, but they don't. And so we have oh, we have a connector for that stuff. But then he also comes with um, a sledgehammer, so you can take the sledgehammer and stick it into. Um, his hand if I can get it in here oh, I can't get it in there very well but you just slide it into his hand more and stuff like that so he'll be holding it with the sledgehammer it looks kind of like Thor with like a messed up hammer um, but that's kind of cool and stuff so obviously you can build the ring and everything and then the ring post and stand it up like that and then so there's a picture down there at the bottom of them going together and stuff like that so that is awesome to go with that whole thing I can't wait um, thing Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so then we have our little package there for our stables thing. And this is awesome. So it looks like the next month it's going to have The Undertaker in it, which is my favorite character or wrestler and stuff like that. And so I can't wait to have that. And I figured he was going to be one of them. And so we'll go with all our items for the month now. So, of course, we got our exclusive Sasha Banks t-shirt. Um, it says this tee was first worn by Sasha on Raw on May twenty second, 2017. Oh, so that was just a few like a month ago or so, or two months, I guess, almost. So, and then it was made exclusively for Slam Crate. Then we got our exclusive, I don't know where it went, oh, our WWE Slam Stars, I guess what they call them, Triple H collectible figure. Um, and then that's just that. And then we have our New Day Foam Finger. And I was hoping it would say something about it. Nope, just says, don't be sour, feel the power with this unicorn foam finger. I was homing it'd say that they had it or something. Then we have the Bray Wyatt Odd Socks here. It says, carry yourself with confidence of the eater of worlds with these socks. Perfect for offices, ominous, and abandoned houses alike. So that's kind of funny. Then we have our Slam Crate Encyclop Encyclopedia Volume 2, which of course features stables. And then our pin with the NWO on the WCW World Heavyweight Championship belt right there. So that is awesome. So, bro, what was your favorite item out of this box? Uh, probably the... Oh, gosh, I don't know. Definitely the socks, probably. <laughs> probably the socks. Um, mine, as usual, is going to be um, the Triple H because I love these whole figure thing. Even though, like I said, they're not perfect because, like I said, I wish the thing was a stand instead of just random because they can, you know, fall easily and stuff like that. But then also the belt because I love these things and stuff. Um, so those are our favorites. If I, and I forgot that there's other stuff in here. So we have, of course, our conversation thing, which is kind of cool how they did this. So we have Sanity here, which, of course, is an odd and weird group and stuff like that. And usually, you know, they have questions typed out and then a typed out answer of what they said. But this time they actually, like, wrote it and stuff, so it's kind of weird and funny that they did that. And then we have our poster, which is somewhat cool and somewhat not. Um, but it is a picture of the shield. Um, there, so of course Seth Rollins, R um, Roman Reigns, and Dean Ambrose there in the center and stuff like that. So that's kind of cool. Like I said, we don't do anything with these posters, but I think it's cool though that we get you get the stuff with the um, items, and then it can be multi-use as a poster and stuff like that too. But that's gonna be it for this slam crate. So if you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up, leave any comments you have down below, and hit that red subscribe button to see more. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>